Hey everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario RPG with me, Atantuo. We are well on our way, apparently, uh, to the skies, to the clouds, where we might or might not be very welcome, but I have a feeling that we might be getting close to uh, actually bringing Mellow home, as uh, is one of our many goals, besides finding the uh, missing star pieces. Uh, which we have... wait, that's not what I meant to do. Um, of which we have five, what the hell? Oh. Whoops, yeah, here we go. I have to get... Uh, have to get used to um, using a different button to accept. I've been playing another game, oh. And for some reason I thought this was going to be an NPC. But, uh, or a friendly NPC, rather. But it uh, turned out not so much. Yeah, okay, okay. It's only been a day, less than a day, since I last played, but already... Um, I seem to be forgetting how to play this game. That's not a good sign. Alright. No, no, just kidding. I, uh, I know everything. No problems whatsoever. Alright, birdies, no problem. Heavy Trooper, probably no problem. Heavy Trooper's ready to launch. Um, whatever that might mean. I'm not too keen on finding out. Although this guy does look pretty tanky, so... Huh, not tanky enough to eat that much damage, fortunately. Alright, so let's continue climbing the beanstalk. How to climb the vines. The vines are positioned from the bottom left to the top right. When you jump, you will be able to disengage yourself from the vine. Nimbus Department of Transportation. Oh, Nimbus, is that what this uh, Sky Kingdom is called? Okay, yeah, I can detach myself. Alright. Okay. And I can also collect more coins that don't really need no I'm at my at the cap again that's unfortunate but I don't think there's really too much I want to spend it on right now hopefully well that that missed um, hopefully oh I can cling to a, a different side of the vine that's interesting uh, please please Mario cooperate Okay, so he will jump on top of the vine automatically. That's awfully nice. I think this should be... Uh, judging by the shadows on the ground, these vines should actually be perfectly aligned. Well, I guess I'm gonna fall, but I was going to take care of these enemies anyway. So, um, yeah. Right, uh, I think I was talking about hopefully spending my money in Nimbus, if that's what the place is called. We'll see. I mean, there's probably going to be another store, another shop, that might have better equipment. And, what? The monster is confused. Why? I mean, I'm fine with that. I just didn't quite catch what happened there. Anyway, let's get rid of the big Koopa first. Defense up, probably. Uh, that won't even play any role at all. Nope. Enemies are dealt with. And I fell, as expected. Everything's going as expected. Yeah, see the shadow down there? Seems to indicate that, that I just need to press the jump button in time. Okay. Yeah, okay. Don't know why it didn't work last time, but... Oh. Do I really want that frog coin? Oh, come on. Where, where do I need to jump? Here, I guess. Okay. Okay, well, it almost worked. Close enough. Okay. Okay, okay. Next screen. Good. New place to drop off to. 
Okay, we have a choice of two vines to climb here. Let's choose this one. Okay. Right choice, as it turned out, since this was... Oh, what? I was holding on to uh, thin air there. That was interesting. Um, hey, you there. I said, hey, you there. Yeah, I said it before, but it's kind of unfortunate that they didn't think of, uh, of a mechanic that allows you to uh, jump on enemies' heads in the on the map screen. Um, they only implemented that in the later games. I'm not sure if Paper Mario on the N64 has it. I think it might. I think you can, like... I don't know if you can jump on enemies, but you can... What's up with this? Um, you, you can, like, hammer them. I'm pretty sure. I didn't really play much of that game. I only play at the very beginning of it to check it out. But I typically, uh, or usually, I'm trying to uh, play game series starting with the first one. This is exactly why I'm uh, playing this game here right now, in fact. Oh, what? What? Oh. I didn't realize what was happening there. So that enemy turned into a platform. Oh, come on, Mario, please. Or his death summoned one. Either way, um, yeah, I don't really need to get all of all of these coins. <coughs> these coins. Excuse me. Uh, oh, okay. Oh, whoop! No, nope. That's not what I meant to do. Okay. I should really check out some other let's play of this to see if other people have the same kind of trouble I have. I'm guessing. Maybe not. At the same time, I'm hoping they do, to make me feel a little bit better. Okay. Um, yeah. I don't know, uh, part of me wants to actually see what these uh, fat Koopas are all about when they prepare to launch, is it? But then another part of me kind of fears what they might do once once they launch, so... I don't know. I guess uh, I'll give him a chance. So he's ready to launch. Uh, let's not kill him. I just want to see. Let's heal up, and Bowser is going to defend. Not run away, please. Oh, Mario's, Mario's turn. Um, and... Okay, that's all it does, huh? Well then. He's gonna be going to heal again though, and Bowser's gonna finish it. I was expecting more, to be honest. That's just a regular old melee attack. And not super powerful at that. I mean, I've se certainly seen enemies deal way more than 39 damage before. And that was in um, earlier levels. Yeah. Also, that fall was really expected at this point. Uh, oh, come on, please. Um, I I'm not too interested in, in those normal coins up there, but uh, the frog coins are r rare enough. Come on. Uh, that getting them warrants some extra effort. All right. Oh, come on. I know if I hit the jump button too too late, or if it's a matter of input delay. Should I? Yeah. Okay. And I completely missed it for some reason. How did I miss that? I mean. This is annoying to myself, so um, I can only imagine what how much fun it must be to uh, watch me struggle through this. Uh, I mean, oh god, yeah, it's probably probably possible to jump up to the vine from from on top of that box, but uh, not like that. 
If I was actually good at video editing and stuff... Oh god. Yeah. Oh, come on! How, how did that not collect the coin? Where is that coin? The shadow? Judging by its shadow, it should be... Yeah. Right aligned with the, with the vines. Uh, anyway, if I was better at video editing or... Well, it's not really so much that I'm not good at it. Oh, there we go. Okay, finally. Now I can move on with my life. Um, yeah, if I felt more comfortable is probably the right way to say it. Oh, now I wonder. Could I have climbed the other vine to the very top? Would there have been another screen entirely? Because this seems to be the way to go, possibly. Huh. Let's see here. Oh, and I jumped right into the enemy that I didn't necessarily want to fight. Anyway, now to f hopefully finally finish my train of thought there. Um, by, by this time, uh, you have already seen that particular sequence and uh, you'll know but I am considering like speeding parts of the video up for example to make boring sections go by more quickly but that requires video editing obviously and um, previous attempts have proven difficult I and it wasn't even something I don't know fancy like speeding up or you know things like that. Um, but I, I think it was something pretty simple or seemingly simple, uh, like just cutting a video or cutting part of a video out. Don't know exactly why I wanted to do that, but I did and it, I just couldn't do it. Uh, I tried several different video editors, uh, free ones of course. Uh, I, I don't have Sony Vegas or anything fancy like that, but I have a uh, a number of uh, different, uh, as I thought. Okay, um, a number of different free-to-use uh, video editing tools, and none of them were able to process that video. Even though I could watch it just fine and it uploaded to YouTube just fine, they processed it apparently without any trouble. But yeah, I just couldn't cut it. One of my tools, or two, I think actually outright crashed when trying to uh, scroll or to, to scan through the video so I, I couldn't even get to the to the editing part it was really bizarre and I've had well uh, similar troubles in the past so I don't know whenever I can I I'll, I'd rather not edit a video and use it as is so I guess you'll probably probably have seen by now that I did not speed it up. I guess uh, it really wasn't long or or boring enough to warrant that much extra effort on my part. I hope that doesn't come across as o overly lazy, but I mean. Okay. Good, good. Well, half good, half bad, I guess. Anyway, uh, yeah. So let's see here. That other, the other path uh, seemed to to be the main path, although might um, both paths might actually converge at some point. We'll see. That platform with the two springboards also had two holes and I didn't jump into the other one. As you saw, maybe I'm going to uh, emerge from that one once I reach the end of this path. If I ever do. God's willing and my fingers cooperating. We'll see. In the meantime, more of the same. 
This area has a surprising, surprisingly small variety of enemies compared to past, not to previous areas. Really, only two different kinds of enemies. But then, oh, I, I had it, but for some reason I uh, let go of that vine. Apparently, don't know why that happened. I don't think I pressed any buttons. Okay, let's now that that was a bit short. And I'm holding on to the wrong side of the vine. So I'd rather go like this. And okay. Well, again. Don't know what's up with that. Um hmm. And it seems when when jumping Okay, and jumping and not pushing any buttons you'll just fall. I see. Kind of makes sense. Anyway, yeah, walking, walking off the vine will not cut it. I still feel that this shouldn't be as difficult as it is, and yet here we are. Maybe I will consider speeding this up after all. Uh, I really should this point. I mean you could always skip ahead in the video and or speed the video up yourself since YouTube allows that. At least it does in uh, if you use the, the HTML5 version. I'm not sure about Flash. I, I've been using HTML5 for quite some time and I regularly uh, speed up videos actually to uh, 1.25 or even 1.5 speed times normal speed. Oh, God, this is horrible. I don't know if it's my gamepad. I don't know if I mentioned it before. I'm using a um, 360. No, not 360. That that would be pretty standard. No, um, I use a. DualShock 3 controller actually, via some uh, custom drivers, well not custom made by me, but made by someone. And I can't for the life of me hold on to that vine now. Oh, yeah, I don't know, keep missing it. I had it twice and both times Mario just seemed to hold on, but ultimately slipped off. I'm sure it's possible to do though. Maybe, maybe I need to do it differently? Yeah, not like that, but uh, I was thinking maybe uh, if I hold on to the... to the... <laughs> yeah, to that side of the vine, that's the idea at least. But, uh, of course, that's even more difficult to do to uh, get Mario to hold on to that side of the vine in the first place. Oh please, Mario, what are you doing? <laughs> oh, I don't even know what to talk about anymore. This is just atrocious. Nope. Alright, you know what? Um, in addition to probably speeding up this part, I will also pause the video until I finally grab onto that freaking vine. Well, until then, wish me luck. Uh, so yeah, I'm back. And uh, maybe you notice that platform over there. Oh my god, I have been trying, I or I had been trying to make that freaking jump for, I don't know, over 10 minutes probably. I've also done a few other things, so I'm not quite sure. I, I ended up actually googling it, and I found out that, uh, well, it's a, a little consolation that I'm not the only person, apparently, who almost gave up <laughs> on this jump. And, uh, 
I read on GameFAQ, um, thanks to whoever posted that, that you actually need to jump up, or all you need to do is jump up, just straight up, something I never did on accident. And the platform appears. And while these jumps are still finicky as all heck, yeah, that makes this infinitely easier. In fact, it makes it possible in the first place. Oh my god. That was something I don't ever want to do again. So, I hope there will not be more uh, wine climbing in this game. Or any game ever again. I'm done with this. Jesus. Uh, anyway, uh, what did I find? What did I find? Um, uh, sorry <laughs> if I sound a little uh, salty or annoyed. It's because I am. Anyway, um, a rare scarf. Um, let's see. Raises defense power. Alright. That's kind of what all the uh, accessories do. Anyway. This one, however... Yeah, it will raise defense quite considerably, in fact. However, it will not raise attack, so... It's not for Mario. And, um... Yeah, ten more defense. That's really nice and all that, but... Uh, obviously, it will not make um, Mellow any faster. I guess I could give it to Bowser. Because why not? Making him even tankier than he already is. I guess so. I mean, true form only prevented him from uh, getting turned into a mushroom or a scarecrow. Which is, I guess, it's actually pretty nice to have. Um, you know what? I'll do this, actually. Mallow is the... Um, is the squishiest of out of our characters, so that should help. And there are more treasures. A flower, two flowers actually, or flower points. That's really neat. Oh, and we land here. Okay, so while exploring, I um, yeah, I guess I can just show you. So I uh, while while I had the video paused, I uh, made my way back up here and. Um, jump down this hole to see whether this might actually just be the other end of the beanstalk I was desperately trying to climb and uh, turned out that no um, it actually leads here so what's up with these guys the hot springs are up ahead the only royal but but only royalty can bathe there and you don't look so royal hey wait a second we do have a have a member of the royalty with us so yeah all right but apparently we don't look very royal to these guys. Alright, um... Huh. This, uh, I think this means that it's going to lead me back to the, to the overworld, and I certainly don't want to do that, so I'm gonna go with this one? Yeah, okay. Good, good. Alright, everyone, listen up! Who says that? Shut up! Shut up! King Nimbus's condition is growing worse. This means we'll be losing our magnificent ruler. Oh no. But it just so happens that I have found the missing prince. Prince Mellow, that is. Huh? Prince Mellow, please, sir. Prince? Get over here! Um, well, well, it seems that our little prince has a mild case of stage fright. Excuse me. <laughs> Come on, make it snappy. What? You can't get through? Well, just look at you, tubby. Oh, wow. <laughs> that is not a cloud. Introducing Prince Mellow! Welcome back, Prince Mellow! My, you've, uh, filled out a bit, Prince Mellow. You're looking fit, Prince. More fat, actually, but... 
Yes, what is it, dear? What? You're asking me to... Gracious, you're serious, aren't you? Why, I don't know what to say. Dear me. I've made my decision. At the request of the prince, I agreed to become his queen. Queen Valentina. Ooh, it just makes me shiver. Well, that's that. Back to your business, everyone. Hurry up, will ya? <laughs> what kind of cheap theater is this? Can you believe it? What a coincidence. There's a prince with the same name as me. Ah, uh, Mello. Don't we have anything better to do than hang around here? Come on, let's go and find the rest of the star pieces. Ah, uh, Mello. Uh, uh, yeah, never mind. Never mind. What's this? This is a door. We used to be able to walk through the castle freely, but I guess we shouldn't disturb the king now. Yeah. Have you seen the volcano? No. The volcano to the east. Uh, the, the volcanoes to the east. Sure wish I could take a dip in the springs. Yeah, they uh, wouldn't let me... Wouldn't let me in there. But it's good to know that there's also a volcano involved, apparently. I'm watching that volcano over there. What? Star pieces? Hmm. Never heard of him. That's unfortunate. Why did Prince Mello make Valentina his queen? I guess it's because she found him. Yeah, I must be very grateful. Prince Mello, as I remember him, used to be so small, so timid. Now just look at him. Yeah, that beak and the, the black feathers and all that. I hope to serve the king again soon. Do you know about the royal bus? I do not. It's a regal vehicle, used only by the king. It's parked now due to the fact due to the fact he's ill. The royal bus, you say. King Nimbus loves statues and birds. He has scads of them in the castle. Okay. I used to work in the castle. You should see the way she hits poor Dodo. What a horrible life he must live. Poor Dodo, you say. Was Prince Mello that heavy? Well, she says it's him, so it must be him. Sure. She wouldn't lie. She doesn't strike me as the dishonest type. Poor King Nimbus appears to be a tad under the weather. I wish the king would get well. But at least the prince is back, just in case something awful happens. Been a while since I saw Prince Mello. He's changed, but yes, I do believe that's him. These guys must have terrible memory. And no photographs. You like the guards? You like the guards we have at the entrance now? I don't. Never used to have them. That's Garrow the Sculptor's place. He used to make all kinds of things for King Nimbus. But these days, he has nothing but time on his hands, what with the king being sick and all. Interesting. Uh, let's check this place out then. Garrow's house, indeed. Oh, well, if that statue doesn't look familiar... Hey, look, it's me! Oh, you mean that? That's King Nimbus when he was a young lad. Huh? What the? Who are you? Hello, my name is Mello. That rhymed. And this is my friend, Mario. Mello? So it is you, my boy. It's been so long. Why, you've become a splendid young prince. What? I'm... I'm really a prince? Uh-huh. Uh... Frog... Cloud, Profusius, uh -huh, uh huh, yeah, yeah, gotcha. Okay, okay, Mario, we, I, I think we got it. Mm hmm. Um, yes, indeed. I understand. So, you were raised by Profusius. There's no question about it. You are, without a doubt, Prince Mellow. Mario, look at me, I'm a prince. Yeah, Mellow. Good for you. I knew Valentina was up to something. I just didn't know what. 
That must mean the king really isn't gravely ill. Or, well, maybe he is. Then let's go inside the castle and save my mother and father. <laughs> oh, wow, he's agitated. Hey, who are you? You can't just barge in here. Aw, uh, they kicked him out. That was fast, actually. Aw, uh, don't worry, Mallow. We'll, we'll find a way. Just as we'll find a way. Wait, I have an excellent idea. Come over here. Um, over there? Are you ready? Um, no, not yet. Hang on. Okay, just say when. I will. Before I do anything rash, uh, here... Oh, wait. Actually, hang on a second. Alright. Um, I will keep... Or I'll, I'll finish up exploring this town here. Um, talk to everybody... Did I talk to this guy? Uh, all of a sudden, one day, Valentina told me I was fired. I just don't get it. He needs help. He's sick. So maybe the king really is sick. I wonder why more people from the from the world down under don't visit us these days. <laughs> I I uh, I have an idea. I don't know. It might have something to do with the way that leads up here. Hint, hint, vines. Just saying. I hope it's nothing personal. No, I, I bet it's not. Uh, let's check out the shop while we are here. Say, you have that I'm looking for something look in your eyes. What can I do for you? Um, you can show me your, your wares. Uh, Pax and Mega Wallop. That sounds good. A war fan for Toadstool. Sure, I need to get rid of some money anyway, so... A uh, hand cannon, I think I already have that. And a sticky glove from Mello, I don't think I have that. Hand cannon, let's see. Um, equip Mario with his new Mega Glove. Nice, nice, straight upgrade. Um, so is this, very good. Um, a war fan. Oh, double punch. Hmm. So maybe I'm confusing that with something else. We did have a some kind of cannon before, but I'm just gonna buy this and see. Huh, I guess I must be confusing him. Even better. Not that I'm currently really using him, but I might at some point. Anyway, sell the old stuff. And, um, was there something else? There was new armor. Alright. Okay, let's buy all of these. We should be better. Certainly are. Oh, not for Bowser, though. Sorry, buddy. I guess most, most stores uh, don't sell armor his size, understandably. Um, and sell the old armor as well. And as far as consumables go, nothing too special. Still don't know what that freshen up actually does. Um, let's see. Only two royal syrups. Maybe I should actually pick some up. Or, but then again, you I usually tend to find stuff, that kind of stuff, anyway. Sleepy bombs, pure waters. Hmm. Puts enemies to sleep. I'll keep one of those. Probably never use it, but you never know. And I'm actually going to sell this, since I don't know what it does anyway. Uh, raises allies' battle power during battle. I'm assuming this means attack power, so I might just use that on Bowser, perhaps, or Mario. Uh, in the next boss fight. And for some reason I'm also still holding on to these pure waters in case I ever come across a particularly dangerous ghost-type enemy. You never know. I mean, I can always go ahead and uh, throw them away later, should I really run out of room. 
Hey there, good man. Welcome, come on in. So you want to take a rest? I'm sure that's why you're here. 30 coins, it's kind of pricey, but I'm gonna do it anyway. The dream cushion to rest, right? There'll be 30 more coins. Um, I'll try anything once. <laughs> Don't know if it looks weird. Don't really know what this is all about. What's what's up with that excited little toad there? Boing boing boing! I'm trying really, I'm trying really hard. So Mario, you have to try hard too. Try hard what? I'm with you all the way. Okay, I um, I guess I appreciate that enthusiasm, little guy. Was was that just a dream, or was that the extra service I paid for? I thought it was about some kind of cushion. Maybe I got that wrong. Anyway, I'm going to save the game here. I haven't done so in quite some time. And before I continue, and before I go back to the sculptor and see about a way to enter the palace and uh, set things straight here, I'm gonna end the episode. So as always, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please like, comment, subscribe and check out next episode. Until then, have a great time and bye-bye.